NCAC. You need to know about these people. Well, I think any time that someone wants to interfere with uh, a child or, or an adult's ability to read the type of books they want to read and get the information they want to get, it's not a good thing. And uh, I've always been proud that Simon & Schuster has had so many books banned uh, on the most banned books list each year. Uh, not because we're looking to offend people, but uh, it tells me that we're providing people with the kind of information that they can't find anyplace else. And it's, it's giving kids and teens the, uh, uh, the resources uh, for the questions they, they want to have answered. Uh, I think the NCAC, uh, what they do is fantastic. The NCAC for me, uh, having faced several book challenges in the past, as well as being disinvited from events myself, the NCAC stepped in immediately. In fact, I didn't ask for help. They came to me and offered help. And that was so important because it's so, for authors to know there's somebody behind you, you have champions for you, it enables you to keep speaking loudly. The reason I'm so against censorship is that it affects the way a writer starts thinking when she's writing a book. And a book can be censored for per just perhaps one small word. Uh, the censors very often are just leafing through looking for four-letter words, and a whole book can be condemned. And I hate the thought that writers eventually will, instead of be writing for their audience, they're writing for the censors. And it twists the whole plot, it twists the meaning of the book, and I so appreciate this organization. I, I have um, newsletters dating back to the 80s, I think, from this organization, telling all the good work they're doing, including standing up for my books, keeping my books in the libraries, and I'm very grateful for them. The work that NCAC does to promote intellectual freedom is essential to ensuring that we are good self-governors and that we are able to express what's important about living in a robust realm of ideas. I'm a proud supporter and I hope you are too. In a nation that prides itself on free expression, it's amazing how many censorship cases we still have in this nation, especially in public and school libraries and in the classroom. We need organizations like NCAC to provide support to teachers, librarians, and administrators, public and school library boards all across the nation. Let books out there. Let books be free. NCAC. We love them.